This is Watch Your Style. Today I'm gonna to be going over a topic that since the beginning of my video series, people have been sending me messages and emails talking about what type of glasses are you wearing? What brand are they? Or why am I wearing glasses indoors? Is it sunny like that? So the question is sunglasses, why do they matter? So sunglasses or eyewear, I don't know, or designer shades or whatever you want to call them. You know, for me, it's a very important accessory. And the question was sunglasses, why do they matter? Well, for one, it's one of the few accessories that go directly on your face. So for me, it's a very important thing in fashion, for men's accessories or essentials. Yes, I love watches, but I also love sunglasses. So there's a lot of different brands that I like and throughout my video series, I've always worn sunglasses. I've gotten a lot of commentaries about that. Who wears sunglasses in a video? Is it sunny in there? What a douche. I would never buy a watch from a guy with sunglasses. Guys, relax. Do you actually really think that I'll sit down in front of a person face to face and conduct business with a pair of glasses on? I mean, who, what type of idiot would do that? This is a video series. This is where we talk about fashion and watches and different things. Who cares if I'm wearing sunglasses? Has nothing to do with the fact. So yes, I do wear sunglasses in my video and I don't really care. If you don't like it, you know, I don't know what to tell you. But today we're here to talk about sunglasses, not about the commentaries of other people. So with style and fashion, sunglasses are very important. And I'm gonna talk about three of my favorite brand of sunglasses. So the first brand of sunglass that I wanna talk about is Dita. Now, Dita is a good brand of sunglasses and I wanna tell you it's more of the mass produced brands that I use because a lot of people have told me, hey, you're the guy that wears the Ray-Bans. Look, nothing wrong, nothing wrong with Ray-Bans. But I've never owned a pair of Ray-Bans in my life. I mean, I, I don't know why. I just kind of like more unique brands that don't make so many glasses so that I don't show up somewhere and the guy next to me has the same pair of glasses. 99% of the time, when I have a pair of sunglasses, the guy next to me will not or anybody in the whole establishment. That's just the way I am. Doesn't mean everybody's the same. Dita is one of the sunglasses manufacturers that I wear that tends to have a little bit more popularity and more of a mass production. But overall, they do make a nice pair of sunglasses. And depending on the one it is, you know, and stuff like that, they all give a different effect. I go through different moods. And just like watches, I got these times where there's this one pair of sunglasses that I just have to have. And I'll wear it for a while, and just like a watch, the novelty will wear off and then I want to go on to the next one. The only difference is with sunglasses, you can't really trade or sell them. So I usually preserve them, treat them well while I wear the sunglasses so that then I can put them away and maybe someday resurface that pair. This particular pair of Ditas was uh, a model that I had for a very long time. And uh, actually I got more questions on my videos about that particular pair of glasses than any other ones in my series. I feel like I got a thousand comments of people asking me what type of sunglasses it was. I had an auto reply set up saying that they were Dita class models. Class was C-L-A-S-S-E. So Dita is a bit more of a mass produced brand. Then we start getting more into the niche brands that I like of eyewear. And uh, these are more luxury designer glasses. And uh, one good example is Mikita. Now, Makita is a very well-made product, okay? Uh, this pair that I have right here is a very interesting pair of sunglasses, okay? I did a couple videos with these glasses and uh, I call them my Dracula shades, okay? It's something you're not gonna see around. These are very well-made glasses. Most of the glasses that I will buy are handmade because, uh, you know, it's kind of like watches. I kind of like the attention to detail and the quality. These are titanium, very thin, Again, a pair of sunglasses that you're not gonna see anywhere. Glasses like this will set you back around 850 bucks, okay? But it's something very unique, low production, a very particular thing. So as you go through different like, you know, moods and stuff, you kinda wanna have sometimes different pair of sunglasses for different outfits. Very good question, people ask me, do you match your sunglasses with your outfit? Yes, I obviously do. Um, that's why I have so many different pairs of sunglasses. You're always going to have your go-to pairs of sunglasses. But I do match them, so you always want to have a little bit of variety. 
I'm more of an exclusivity type of guy, so that's why I like brands like Makita. There's not a lot of them. Chances are you've probably never even seen a pair. But um, overall, it's all about quality and attention to detail, and that's what I look at when I try to go for the best brands of designer glasses. So I get another question and it says, do you match your sunglasses to your watch? You know, I would put that more into the category of my outfit, you know? Um, sunglasses to me don't really make a direct correlation to the watch, I guess. Um, I guess it could in a way, you know, if you had like a, a pair of glasses on that had a lot of gold in the frames, then okay, maybe a rose gold watch won't be appropriate. But I don't necessarily match it to the watch. I kind of just match it in general to everything. So the last brand of sunglasses that I want to go over happens to be one of my favorite. 99% of the videos that you'll watch on my blog are from this brand. That brand is the exact pair that I have here and it's super or retro super future or whatever it is that they want to call it nowadays. If you do a Google search and you put super sunglasses, it's going to take you to this site. The official name of the brand is retro super future, but I just say I'm super because it's, you know, it's, it's just shorter super brand glasses. Now these glasses are not very, they're very, you know, very limited. People ask me if these are a pair of Ray-Bans. They're not. This pair of sunglasses I have is a wafer. That's a style of sunglasses, just like aviators and stuff like that. So yes, they will kind of look like a Ray-Ban, but these are not Ray-Bans. These glasses are handmade in Italy. You cannot find them very easy. And I've actually been using this brand since they first started. When they first started, they only had about six pairs. Now if you go to the website, they've blown up. You know, they got a bunch of models. They use Carl size lenses. It's quality, quality, quality. You know, I had a pair of these sunglasses one time that I used to use just for the boat. And one day they literally got stepped on and a hatch closed on them. And I said, these glasses are done. Like, you know, I pretty much just threw them away on the ground. Crazy part is, is that a friend of mine actually picked them up and bent the hinge back into place and wore the damn things for another year. I mean, unbelievable. Hey, that would have been a pair of Ray-Bans or any other brand, those glasses would have been shot. So it's about quality, you know? I like unique handmade stuff and I really like sunglasses from brands that really just make sunglasses. As opposed to, you know, some of like the high fashion, you know, designer, Christian Dior, Gucci, they make good products. Yes, there's always gonna be a pair that I'm gonna be attracted to, but I kinda like more like brands that just makes sunglasses, and that's what's special to me. That's what makes it different in my opinion. So remember, sunglasses are an accessory that go directly on your face, okay? It's pretty much an accessory that nobody can hide. Some people might not like watches, I get it. Everybody likes sunglasses, okay? And it also is like a form of an expression. If you wanna wear some fishing glasses and that's just your look, Amen to you. Everybody has a different look and fashion and styles. Mine in particular, I like more luxury designer sunglasses. And they also express like a mood too, you know, kind of like a watch. Sometimes you want to just wear something stainless steel, low key. Sometimes you just want to just go all out. We're about the big boy Richard Milley. Whatever you want. So keep that in mind when selecting glasses and stuff like that. For me, it goes by moods and different trends, you know. Something I want to point out today is that also, what watch am I wearing today? A couple people have always asked me at the end of the video to mention that. I'm wearing today an AP 44 millimeter offshore ceramic bezel. Um, I've had it for about three weeks right now. I'm not exactly sure if it's gonna be a keeper into the collection, so right now it's still on the trial phase. So why do I wear sunglasses? Because pretty much I just like the damn things. That and I also like to hide my eyes. Don't ask me why, they seem to get me in a lot of trouble. So if you like this video, please like and share. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel. My name is Eric, watch your style.